TitleMatchNetwork.com. What are your memories of when the Von Eric boys were coming for some of the Houston shows? <laughs> Crazy? <laughs> well, I didn't see them come. I seen them come in for a couple shows for Bill. Bill was hesitant to use them a lot. I went over there to um, work against Antonio Noki in the... Uh, uh, I forgot what the place was. Fort Worth uh, place. Uh, the, no, nah, that's sport to him. It was bigger. Will Rogers calls. Yeah, it's Will Rod. That's where it was. Will Rogers, and that's how I got my spot over in New Japan. But uh, I saw. I'll tell you, bottom line, I saw the devil take over that family. I seen drugs take over. I seen fame. I seen uh, what it does in in. in in every business, you know, what you play with stardom and the stuff we're messed with, you know, and I, it's, <clears throat> tell you what, I seen Von Erichs have Texas in their hand for the rest of their life. They controlled Texas right. territory. They could do anything. They could get free cars. They could go anywhere, get free dinners, this and that, whatever. Well, they let that, that the, the drugs, Fast women, fast cars, everything just take over. And when when that happens, man, and you don't know moderation, you don't know how to pull the reins on a lot of things, and it takes over on you. And it did. And you know, I I saw some lot of crazy things, probably too crazy to even say on this video, you know, and uh I I wrestled with Kevin over in uh, New Japan and uh it was it was unreal. Going to the ring, he I was almost carried into the ring. When we got to up there, I said, "Just stay up on the rope." Okay, you know. So, you know, God bless him, man. You know, I I, I seen a great great territory there just fizzle right out. Cause I'd be still working over there, you know. Right. But you know, a lot of things happen in this business. A lot of things I've seen it all. You know. What about Eddie Gilbert? What are your memories of Eddie Gilbert? Wow, great wrestler, great uh, mind for the business, great promo guy too, you know, uh, good heart, let, let, uh, let, let other things convert him, you know, and let him uh, go the other way that thought was, was going to help and ease the pain of his problems that he's been put in, and we all know that you know, drugs and alcohol and all that goody stuff. And he gets gets rid of all the problems. But next one morning, if if you wake up, it's there again. And what you got to do is go butt right back on it again. So, but God bless him and his family. You know, he, he was great talent, you know. And uh, he's one guy, too, in the business that wasn't put in for, for what, what he put out for our business. He, he was, he was never exposed to that point. Right. Like myself, I've never been fully used like I should have been used. You know, you know, I got in trouble myself with uh, with drugs, and then uh, they put me on probation, and uh, I got a little slight deal with their company, and uh, had to prove my honors back when when I grew up. You know? Right. What exactly happened with that? Do you want to talk about that? Well, yeah, I got I got busted with uh, marijuana. Uh, Roach uh, going across uh, the country there, and um, bad mistake, bad uh, thing I, I got involved in. I was involved in a lot of alcohol, a lot of drugs back then, and uh, I can say now that I've kicked the habit, uh, I've learned my lesson, you know. And you know, and I can tell a lot of people this video will be out to see everybody, and I'll tell you, there's a better way. And there's a lot of better ways than uh, going out and finding a joint, gram of cocaine, alcohol, women. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of other, a lot of other ways to to humble yourself and to get a grip on life. And uh, I'm a re reborn Christian too. And I'll tell you, the Bible is uh, is a lot better than a, uh, a beer or a joint. You know, uh, it really is. If you're in that big of, if you're in that in that fast lane, or if you're, you've got problems in your lifestyle or something, pick up a Bible. 
man, he'll, he'll tell you right out of that Bible what's what's going on with your life and how you can correct it and how to go on and how to make it better. Uh, it, it's it, it's been good. It's been good. It's been a heck of a learning lesson, brother. When uh, when I've been popped, I've been popped twice. You know, I've been popped across two borders, Mexico and uh, Japan, right. and it was a hell of an experience. I got stuffed on uh, Mexico. Well, I shouldn't have got popped, and I, I got popped, and they made a bigger deal than it was, was and got thrown out of court. They allowed me to bring prescription drugs over. I was seeing a doctor. <clears throat> but that became major news, too. But, you know. Uh, I was going to ask you what your views are on painkillers and stuff. Well, I'll tell you about painkillers. I believe in moderation. I believe if the doctor gives them to you and he knows what's wrong with you, and you know how to use them and when to, it's not like, oh, I got a hundred Vicodins. Let's take a hundred Vicodins in two days. That's not what they're for. I mean, I, now, I mean, when I was young, man, sure. Got a volume, okay, a couple volumes. I'll take a couple volumes, man. I'm, I'm going to relax from being so strung up, being in the ring and stuff. But now I like, I'm on Vicodin right now because I got three broken ribs. And that, how they tell you to take them every four to five hours. Well, I don't need them every four to five hours. When I feel the pain, when I can't feel, when I can't deal with the pain, then I'll take a pain pill. You know, sleeping pills I don't believe in. You can get Excedrin PMs. Right. Halcyon, I've seen too many guys drop them. I've seen guys on Halcyon that they don't even know what they're doing. You know, cocaine, been there, done it, wore the T-shirt. It'll kill you. Uh, the Rock kill you. I mean, I've seen a lot of people now empty-handed. They spend all their money. Um, one thing is probably, uh, WWF used me when I came in there and I got hurt and everything, Pritchard and everything. He said, used me for an example of a guy that has been involved with alcohol, drugs and, and divorced and all this kind of stuff. And, and, you know, for them to use me for an example was their little deal, you know, but it's fine now. I'm 40 years old. And use me for an example, because I've seen it, done it. And I got every T-shirt at my house to prove it, man. I mean, I've seen it and done it. Right. You know, I, there's a lot better way. It's called the Holy Bible, man. And I, I'm not going to preach here because one day I might be right next to Ted DiBiase doing the same show. Right, right. You right. know what I mean? But there's a calling on my life for that. So bottom line, Rob, I got to tell you is that, that I've, been, I've been blessed. Uh there's many times that I could have been in the same boat as uh, all of our buddies. I was going to ask Jake, you about Jake the Snake, Terry Gordy, Eddie Gilbert. I could have fallen in that same kind of footsteps. Um, the good Lord has looked after me. He's had, picked me up so many times that when I've fallen, that it's amazing. And uh, for me to get reborn and uh, how it's changed my life and to uh, know that I have so much faith in the Lord, no matter what happens to me, if the WWF took a million dollars away from me, a woman took a hundred thousand dollars away from me. As long as I've got faith in him, yeah, there ain't nothing can faze me. Right. Nothing.